During this video, I'm going to be showing you all the different text formatting options that we have right here inside of our visual editor with InstaBuilder 2.0. All right, so let's go ahead and dive right into it. And here I am right now on a blank canvas, and I am just going to drag over one of our text elements here and put some text on the page for us here. Next, I'm going to click on this text and go to the pencil. Now, when you are editing your text or you're editing your headlines or your titles, we have this format drop down menu over here where we give you a lot of different options and ways that you can style your text the way you want it to look. Okay, so let's kind of go through here and see what all we have. So first up in the inline section, we have a strike through, a superscript, a subscript and code. Now, pretty much if you want to apply any of these to your text, you're just going to highlight the text that you want to use it on. I'm actually going to make this text a little bit bigger for us here. So we can see that there we go. So I'm going to highlight the word this. Go back to our formats, go to our inline and choose a strike through. And as we can see, it just quickly adds a strike through through our word there. If you want to take it off, you just click on it one more time and it will remove it. Same thing for the superscript. It gives it the superscript feeling there. And same thing for everything else. And code is pretty cool because it makes it look like you're actually writing code and you're sharing code with someone. And I actually use that for, you know, when I share affiliate details and HTML links and banners for my affiliates. So I'm going to highlight that again and take off the code. Next up, we have blocks. We can have a block quote, a div or pre. So I highlight all of this here. You can always just click on these and see what they look like and then click on them again to take them back off. So if I go to pre, for example, we can see what that looks like. It gives it its own little box just like that there. And you know, you can use something like this for testimonials reviews, ratings, you know, pretty much anything or just anything you want to put a box around like that. So let's highlight this again. I'm going to take that off for us. Next up, we have some basic text styling. We can add a shadow to our text, a dark gray light, or add no spaces between our letters or add too much space between our letters. So if I click on the too much space, we can see it kind of spaces out our letters a lot. And if I take that off there and we go in here and we add, for example, a shadow, we can see we now have a text with a shadow in the background. Next up, we have some font weight here. You can pretty much just bold your text and how much you want to bold it up to a 900 or down to a normal here. So you would use this if the bold feature is not doing you justice or not bolding it enough. You can hop in here and really add a lot of bold to all your words or just a few words. For the bullet points, I will come back to this in just one moment. Next up, we have drop caps. If you aren't sure what a drop cap is, this is when if you've ever read a book or an article and the very first letter of the very first word is really, really big, that's what a drop cap is. Now, of course, you can use this for more than just the first letter. You can use it for the first word. You can use it for your whole article. Completely up to you. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to highlight just my first letter. I'm going to head back into our formats and go to our drop caps. And I'm going to add a black drop cap. And as you can see, the T gets really big. And this is what you see inside of like, you know, the books where the first letter is really big like that. So you can easily add that to your website as well. And then at the bottom here, we have quick highlights where you can just easily highlight any of your words that you want with all these different colored backgrounds. So I can highlight the, you can modify this text here. Let's highlight that with a green, for example. And then you can see simply just like that, we now have a green background for our text. Okay. Last but not least, let's go to our bullet points here. Now to actually use our bullet point feature here, you need to actually create your bullet points over here on the right hand side using one of these bullet lists. So I'm just going to create a few over here for us. Now, once you have that done, then you can come into the format here, go to the bullet and choose which one you want to use. So check number one green. And we can see it changes the bullet points for us automatically to the green check mark. Come back in here. We got all these different check marks. We have big old plus signs. We have crosses and we have arrows and we have a forbidden sign like that there. Pretty neat, right? So you can kind of come through here, choose whichever one you like the best for your bullet points. And that's all there is to formatting your text. We give you many different formatting options so that you are free to customize your website and your text however you want.